Hey everybody, welcome back to Metal Mill 52. Just a quick update about some of the things I've, I've got going and some of the next projects um, for you. A little midweek update. There's no machining in this episode, but I wanted to start out by showing some a little unboxing kind of stuff from um, McMaster Car. Let me tilt the camera down here. I'll try to keep this brief. Um, one of the things I ordered, I couldn't find a 4 inch long, 3 8 inch wide spring for the front bed bar, so I ordered some from McMaster. They have 3 and a half inch long, and I also got for you live steam folks, I had this in my little shopping basket, but they're hose, barbed hose fittings with a flare fitting on the end, and these, I may replace the, the water supply lines on my tender with these, so at least I've got material if I decide I need to. They were only like two and a half dollars a piece so I also included those in the order. And lastly I had got this book. I've been reading up on spindles. I'll talk more about this later but I got this book by Harper Sandhugh who I had communicated with in the past and he's a very smart gentleman. This is a really cool book. There's a lot of neat information about spindles and it got me kind of thinking about I'm going to finish building the corn spindle, but after I do, I may build a, a more low-tech spindle and um, use some already, um, not they don't call these shielded, but um, sealed bearings. So you don't have to worry so much about the all the whole labyrinth seal and all that because the, the uh, seal is already built in, so is the lubrication. And these things were nice. They're a half inch inside diameter and an inch and an eighth on the outside. They're about $10 a piece, but they're high quality bearings for, um, they can handle a high RPM, much higher than what I'm going to be using on the spindle. And I'm thinking about using some of Professor Sandhu's designs and building a simplified spindle. So I went ahead and ordered the bearings for that as well. So that's the McMaster car. That's the brief note about the spindle book, which I would highly recommend. Let me show you. There was one more thing that came with the order that's probably the most important thing as far as the whole corn project goes. There's a lot of discussion about these these washers. They're called Belleville Springs or Belleville Washers, Spring Washers, Disc, disc Springs. People call them a lot of different things. And uh, one of the things I'll do, I'll do a separate little video on this because I've already talked for two and a half minutes. but. Um, the commentary was about putting these using these kind of springs in lieu of the little coil springs and I did obtain a set of coil springs too so um, I'm gonna stop now and just make this the brief update but I'm gonna do a segment in just a minute here that I'll include in my weekly update a little comparison about these springs so thanks again everybody stay tuned for the next update I appreciate you